This is the Pride ZT10. Z stands for zero turn 10. The 10 is, this, this scooter is a ZT10, the newest model from Pride Mobility. It's not even out yet right now. But this, motor, this scooter has two motors. And as I said, it turns a whole lot better than anything else out there. It has a 43 inch turning circle. So and most of them are in the 60 some. This is 43 inches because you have two motors and it just turns in the back with two motors independent from each wheel. So if this scooter has a 400 pound weight capability, it's called a ZT10 for zero turn 10. Very similar to a Victory 10 scooter, but it's not a Victory 10, but it looks like one. There's a lot of new stuff on this scooter we need to cover. Since Pride came out with this one, it's just, this is just another gorgeous scooter from, from Pride Mobility. Uh, it has a real nice seat. The seat will swivel. And also the seat does slide forward and back. So if I bring the seat back to the front, I can slide the seat forward or back. This is as far back as it will go. This is as far forward as it will go. Right all the way here. The seat from the ground to the top of the seat is about 20, 23 inches. From the floorboard to the top of the seat is about 18 inches. From here to the top of the seat is about 18 inches. From the floor to here is about 23, 24 inches. Okay? This scooter is 24 and a quarter inch wide. From here to here is 24 and a quarter inch wide. As I said, it does have a 400 pound weight capability. The tires are 9 inch in the front. The back, they're 11 and 3 quarter inches. Almost, I'm sorry, 10 and 3 quarter inches. 10 and 3 quarters. They're almost 11 inches by about 3, 4 inches wide. They're really wide, which would be really good for outside. You'll be able to see the tires in the fume when I take the scooter apart. Also with this scooter, <coughs> the tiller, which is, this is called the tiller right here, is adjustable right here. There's a little lever right here. I can, I can bring it up, as you can see right here. If I push it up, I can adjust the tiller as far wherever I want it. Also here, you have a place for your drink and your cell phone. You also have a USB port over here to charge your phone. And you also have right here is where you charge the scooter. So if you're going to charge the scooter, you'll take your charger that comes in the box right here and you would plug the charger right here where my finger is, that's where your charging port is. This is your charger that comes with your scooter. The basket can be removed. It just sits on there with two clips. So it's very solid. It will not, it will not fall off your scooter if you have it on your car. You can see the front end, the front end on the scooter. You can see the suspension in the front also. If I raise the scooter, you'll be able to see the suspension in front under the scooter. This scooter right here, the way it is there, weighs about 228 pounds total weight. It does come apart. The heaviest speed on the, the heaviest piece on the scooter will be about 75 pounds. So it's not like you can take it apart real easily, 75 pound is heavy. Okay, it's just I thought I'd let you know. This scooter has a real nice headlights. If I show you the headlights right here, you'll be able to see. These are your headlights right there. These are your headlights. Also, we can have funky lights. I can turn the button this way, and this will be a different, different type of headlight so people can see you. You have this in the front and you have this in the back. If you look at the back, you have the same scenario going on. You have the back lights, and you also will have, if you want to do this type of scenario, you'll also have this so people can see you. So it's fully loaded with the lights. This has the whole light kit. I'm going to turn the lights off. And we're going to talk about the dashboard right here real quick. Right here on the front, you can see your speed dial right here. This scooter will go up to six miles an hour. You also have an eco boost over here. So if you want to save your battery, you could put it on eco right here and it would save your battery. And also you have a little light under here that lights up when you go this way. Okay. So that's your, your battery saver here. And you have your lights over here and your battery gauge is right here telling you 
the, the batteries are full. You will lose the green lights when you're one quarter empty. You'll lose the orange light. And when you're down to the red light, you're almost empty. You have flashers on this scooter. If you look at the front of the scooter, you'll see we have flashers. And if I turn the flasher off on that side and turn the flasher on the other side, we have hazards and flashers on this scooter. And we also have a horn right here. Not a big horn, but there's a horn right there. This scooter is also set up for mirrors. If you needed mirrors, which is an additional cost, but we can put a mirror here and a mirror on this side. So you can have two mirrors with this scooter. So, so far, this scooter we've covered, it's a 400 pound scooter. It has two motors. It's called a Zero Turn 10, it's a ZT10. Two motors in the back, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, if I wanted to push this scooter right now, there's no way I could push it because it's in gear. So I would turn the power off, and back here, you have two levers for each motor. So if you push the levers forward, make sure you turn the key off, now you can roll your scooter in neutral. Okay? And then you put it back in here, and then you turn your power back on in the front right here. And you do have two keys, so nobody can take your scooter away because you have two keys with this scooter right here. Also in the back of the scooter, in the back of the scooter, we've got anti-tip wheels right here, and you also have a docking device here if you need to tie your lift, your scooter to your lift, and you also have the suspension. You can see the suspension back here, and it goes up into here. So you do have suspension back there. Okay. So, again, this is the, zero, the ZT10 or Zero Turn 10 scooter. It just came out. Uh, I don't even know if it's available yet, but give us a call. We'll be glad to put your order for one. The next thing I'm going to show you is a little bit different. I'm going to show you how to take it apart. So if you bear with me, I've never taken one of these apart, but usually to take apart, you fold the seat down, and you would grab the seat straight up, just like that. Don't pull back because it won't come out. You see how easy that came out? That's your seat right here. So your seat is about, I would say, 30 pounds. Then you have a cover right here that automatically comes off. It's just a cosmetic cover over the two batteries. You can see your two batteries right here. And what you do with those, you do have a strap. Which you will unstrap from it on top of the batteries. And the batteries each have a cable, one here. And you just disconnect the cables. Grab your batteries. There's one battery here, and there's another battery here. And these are 40 amp batteries, and these batteries will give you about 20 miles on a battery charge with a 400 pound person, or 28 miles roughly with a 200 pound person. So these have extended distance. They're a little heavy. They're about 25 pounds each. Okay. Now when you take the scooter apart. You want to take, break the front end from the rear end. You've got three cables that you have to unplug. So unplug the white one right here by pinching it right here. Pull this one out. Pull this one out. Get them out of the way. Like this. Lift the handle up. And pull the front end away from there. So now you've got your front end and your rear end. I'm going to take the basket off. And then you're going to drop the tiller down like I showed you right here. It's your little thing. You push it down to here. Okay, so now this is your front end right here, and I'm going to show you the bottom of the front end. This is probably the part that's 75 pounds, so you can see right here, you have suspension in the front right here. You can see the suspension. Okay, you can see the bottom of the scooter. And you also have your tie downs right here in the front if you need to tie down to your lift. There's two hooks right here. You can, this is where you would go on this side and this side. So this is, this is 75 pounds. This is your rear end right here. I'm going to flip it so you can see the bottom. You can see how well constructed it is. You can see your two motors. You can see your suspension in the back. And you can see how wide the tires are. So that's your rear end right there. I'm going to put it back down. So when you put it back together, just remember, 
lift your tiller up first, bring it back up like you did before, then make sure it's lined up with your, with your rear, like this. Make sure these cables are spread apart so they're not in the way. And green, use two green spots onto those two green lines. They're lined up with green markers. So you raise it up, make sure your cables are out of the way. That's what I'm talking about. And then you just snaps together. And then you do the same thing you did earlier, plug in your white cable first. Do not yank these cables, do not force them in, because once you break them, there's one, and they're color-coded, you can't mess, you can't mess it up. Put your batteries back in. There's one battery here. Put the other one in here. You're, again, this is color-coded. Match your codes. They just plug it right in, but do not force them. Take your strap, put it back over, pull it back. Bring your strap back over and snap it back together. Put your cover back on. There's little slots for the cover to go into. It just snaps together like this. When you put the seat back on, Look at your bottom. You can see where it's going to wind up in that hole right there. It's already locked. The last thing you have to do is put your basket back on. I know this is a long video, and I do not recommend taking this scooter apart. I'm a very strong guy. It's a little bit of work for me to do it, so I didn't even lift the front end because it was 75 pounds. I can lift it, but I don't see who, unless you have two people to lift the front end. You could take the seat off, you could take the batteries out, and two people could lift the front and the back in one piece and roll it in. You could do that probably. But this is really not a take apart scooter, even though it does come apart. So, let me recap on the scooter. This is the newer scooter from Prime Mobile. It's called the, Z, uh, the ZT10 Zero Turn 10. It has a 43 inch turning circle. Two motors in the back, individual motors. You have almost 10 and 3 quarter inch wheels, almost 11 inch by almost 4 inch wide traction, 9 inch tires in the front. You have a swivel seat. You can go all the way around. You can swivel this seat. You can sit back here if you want. You could slide the seat forward and be sitting here like this if you wanted to, behind your scooter if you wanted to. Just to give you a little heads up. So I'm going to swivel this. Whoop. This is that. I need to find my handles here. Bring the seat back up here. Slide the seat back backward. The arms are adjustable up and down. They also go out if you need more width. And they're adjustable right here, up and down. So if I wanted to raise these arms up, all the way up to here, this adjustable in here to this little tight screw right here, this Allen wrench screw. Okay? The scooter has <coughs> a seat that is um, 18 and a quarter inch wide by 16 and a half inch wide. 18 and a quarter by 16 and a half. That's the seat that comes on this scooter right now. So I don't know if they'll have another seat or not. But right now, 18 and a quarter by 16 and a half deep. Real nice, it feels like leather. It's not leather, but it feels like leather. As I said, it's got the headlights, it's got the econo, you can, you can save your battery, flashers, headlights, tail lights. You've got the USB port over here, you have your charger port here, you have a cup for your, uh, for your drink and for your cell phone right here. You've got a uh, basket in the front, you have a charger that comes with it, as I said, your neutrals are over here, like I mentioned earlier. You do have suspension in the rear, suspension in the front, 400 pound weight capability, six miles an hour total speed. And as I said, it'll give you about 20 miles with a 400 pound person, 28 mile distance with a 200 pound person, 
And that's not in concrete. You might get less or more, depending on what kind of surface you're on if you're going uphill to the grass. So, again, this is the newest scooter by Prime Mobility. It's called the ZT10 Zero Turn Scooter. Last thing we're going to mention about this scooter, the ground clearance is two inches at the motor. That's at all the way at the bottom of the motor where the motor is two inches off the ground. You have probably three, three and a half inches here, but at the motor, it's about two inches. So that's your ground clearance. The length of the scooter is 48 inches from front to back, 48 inches. The width of the scooter is 24 and a quarter. The total weight of the scooter is about 228 pounds with the batteries, the way it is right now. The heaviest piece is about 75 pounds. Your turning radius is about 43 because of the zero, zero turn radius is about 43, so it gives you a much better turn. Six miles an hour is the top speed. 400 pounds the scooter will hold. So if you're looking for a really nice scooter, the newest they just came out with, this is it. It's called the Zero, the ZT10 scooter. That's your 43 inch right there. You can do this all day long. Almost like a wheelchair. So, this scooter, six miles an hour when you're going straight ahead, as soon as you turn to the right or to the left, the speed is reduced for safety purpose. So it'll reduce it way down when you turn right or left, the speed will reduce, that's normal. Six miles an hour when you're going straight, great suspension, went through the grass with no problem, great riding scooter. This is a CT10 scooter, ready to go. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We are a family owned business for over 25 years. We have many products available, not just what you see in this video. If you would like to learn more, you can call the number below at 800-677-6293 or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com.